everybody, welcome back. Falcon Darkwood. Last night went pretty good. Basically, all I ended up doing was, since we have boarded up all of our windows... Let's make sure that there's no uh, creepy crawly somehow in here, right? We've boarded up all of our windows, and uh, I did what I did was for the night. <laughs> I went and I boarded up this door. Uh, what I've noticed is that you can dismantle stuff, and you will lose some of the items that you used up, but not all of them completely. Let me lower the volume here a little bit. So essentially, like, say you would use, like, three plank and, like, seven nails to board something up. If you dismantle it, you'll get, like, six plank and, like, two nails in return. So you would do lose a bit, but not all of it. So I think it's a really good trade-off, especially when it stays safe overnight. So I did find that out. So what I did is I, you know, boarded up that door. Since the windows are boarded, all I did was hang out over here. And I basically pressed myself up against this wardrobe to make sure that no, um, creepy crawly basically crawled in through there, right? And... I'll tell you what, there was a few pushes against the wardrobe at night, but I was able to push back and hopefully um, keep everything away. So, um, really quickly, let's take some of these nails with us. Actually, that's not really something I need right now, is it? Let me just leave some of this behind, and we'll probably start looking to head back out. I do have to find, um, I need to find out where our homeboy Wolf is at, for one. But, uh, I guess, um... We'll figure that out soon. Pills, I guess I'll leave them behind for now. I'll take the flares with me. That's about it. That's all I really want to take because if I do find stuff, I want to be able to carry it back. So let's go with this um, loadout over here and head out for the day here and see what else awaits us. So we've done east. We've done um, northeast. We haven't done completely north or northwest. I'm going to go west this time around because I did think I remember we ran into a little stockpile of things that I couldn't pick up because we we're already overloaded. I see you, bug. I've killed you before, just by sheer luck alone. Maybe I could sneak up on it again. Ah, ah. That's very interesting, it usually runs away. <laughs> I'm sure, I guess I'll take it. You fell asleep at the job, bug. That's what happened there. Alrighty, so... I'm gonna use the plank until we can't use it no mores. And I did say no mores, kinda like I'm Popeye here. And I haven't leveled up any of my skills, mind you, I do have the chance to do so. I pretty much think I have, like, enough for, like, two or three levels, but I'm so worried about, like, you know, dying and losing them, so... I kind of want to, like, plot out the map before we go into using my... my mushrooms for level ups, you know? So... I kind of want to know where everything's at, and then we'll start using them up slowly. Alrighty, so far, so good. I'll definitely take everything in here. And you know what? Nails aren't really inherently too amazing other than like barricading stuff because you know you don't want to use the plank with nails but let me tell you they turn into some of the most useful items especially when you're thinking about like you know guarding your safe house that's for sure um okay do that throws feces we'll try to ignore him for now as he just kind of crab walks away i mean i have no problem with him but apparently he thinks he's a monkey because he keeps throwing his uh you know feces towards me all the time I really wish I would have paid attention to Wolfman when he told me where he was going to be hanging out at. Oh god, what? what? How was I poisoned? By a corpse? That's interesting indeed. I'm, I'm uh, really upset right now. That's, I think that's a horseshit um, poisoning. It wasn't even a, a patch of mushrooms or anything like that. Oh, gasoline. I'll take that for sure, though. I think I'm going to call shenanigans on that. I'm not sure why stepping on a corpse is going to poison me, but I guess it probably has something to do with the land being all jacked up and whatnot. I'm not too crazy about this harvest because of my health right now and the uh, fact that it keeps lowering and lowering, but I'll take it just in case. Oh, I got oh, Piotrick's house. You know what? Um, what I remember from the last run is that Piotrick actually is the dude that sends you off to like fetch weird items for him. So like the wheel that I picked up and the rear view mirror might be for Piotrick's quest. So might as well go in here and talk to this hombre and find out what he's all about. Anything of interest around here that I could kind of loot, though? That's the first thing I want to make sure of. Okay. Our health, our health isn't really amazing right now, but... I really can't risk dying, otherwise we're going to lose that mushroom. And I already lost, like... Was it, like, two mushrooms this run? And I don't want to lose any more. Although I'm not sure if there's a lot more than you probably do need. But I guess we'll find out. Alright, so far so good. I'm just kind of um, sweeping the area for any items that might be useful for us. And I think that's pretty much about it, unless I jump in through here. Mind you, he's barricaded this entrance, so I can't go in through there. So yeah, I think we'll definitely have to jump this fence to kind of uh, 
greet the old fella over here. Hopefully he's not, not an insane dude like that villager was. Hey. The fuck is this? What are you building? Like a spaceship? Junk pile. Sloppily welded together pile of junk. <laughs> Alright. Good to know. Good to know. Alright, he's barricaded his um, house pretty good too. Look at this fucking barricade over here. We need to get something like this going on for ourselves. Generator over here. Locked. Could use a lockpick. We need to find some wire too. If anybody knows where I could get more wire, please let me know. I mean, seems really, really important. This place is filled with junk. The walls are covered with mod and spider webs and stuffy in here. I hope that's not like some sort of like pseudo warning. Clothes. Rags. Oh, thank God. Alrighty. One second here while I try to patch myself. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You need two of them. Alrighty. Well, it kind of makes sense, but. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, you are. You are the king, Piotrick. So let's go ahead and craft this bad boy. And we will patch ourselves up here. I just want to be able to survive so I can get these mushrooms back to the house and use them properly. Alrighty, so we've searched that. Search all of this. Good. Good, good, good. This seems to be his living room of some kind here. Anything of here in search here? Yeah, good. Could probably open this up. Probably booby trapped or something. <laughs> Knowing this guy, probably. Postcard with a portrait of a man. There's a signature on it which reads 1961. The sky is dark and the earth blue. Niebel. Alrighty. Swag, you do your thing, man. You let me know what that says. You got a battery. And we have some more matchsticks. Alrighty. I hope Piotrek isn't too... Up I smell... Rossin. I hope Piotrek isn't too upset about me over here just looting his place, right? Piotrek! None of my keys fit here. I'm not coming out until the beast in my garage is dead. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. Okay. Well. Now I know why there were rags here after all. Okay, what kind of beast are we talking about here? I'll try to take care of it, my friend, but holy shit, I hope I have enough rags for this. Or I hope I find a few more rags. Can't take that. Could probably make myself a Molotov, though, huh? That wouldn't be too bad. Alright, let's actually hang out here for a second. And craft ourselves a little bit of a Molotov. I guess we could kind of say goodbye to junk for now. Although, Piotrek might have a good use for it. Let me just dump it over here for now. And uh, I'll grab the alcohol. Now, mind you, we're going to need another free space to make the Molotov, since it doesn't stack. Um, let's put some wood down for now. Okay. And now, we will do... Molotov instead. Just toss it to whatever's in there. Just in case it's really, really fucking terrible, we can just kind of toss it and forget about it. This is wood, and this is junk. I guess I'll take the wood for now. Okay. Now, be very careful. What is this? And what is that fucking sound? Okay, I can't step on that. I can't step on that. What the fuck? Okay, so can I burn this? Whatever this might be? It's like, it looks like a big patch of mushrooms, doesn't it? Maybe I could dismantle the window from the other side. Before I go and waste my only Molotov, let's kind of, um, try to use our brain here for a second. Oh god, I have to go all the way fucking around? It's a pain in the fucking ass now, isn't it? Alright, Piotrek, it'd be nice if you, like, you know, give me a heads up. Seeing as I'm over here being plain fucking hitman for you. Alrighty, so I can go around this way. Can I even make it from the other side, though? It doesn't seem like I can. For all I know, he's probably on drugs and there's really no monster in his garage, he's just fucking tripping balls. Alrighty, I might be able to make it through here, actually. No, I can. Alrighty, so... We will... I can only use Mando Barricades, which I have cre... Oh, you've... 
Oh, it's gonna ruin my fucking axe though, isn't it? Oh, this is... I'm not too happy about this. I, I have a feeling this is a bad idea. Maybe I was supposed to throw the Molotov at that thing after all. You know what? I'm gonna waste my Molotov on that. I, I just feel really... I do have a repair kit back home, though, so I could always repair the, the, the axe. But, you know, it seems silly to me that there's gonna be a patch of some item or some unknown substance on the floor. And I can't walk through it by normal means. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, it has to be the Molotov, right? Okay. This might be a complete waste of my time, and I hope it's not. Because I'm really trying to, like, you know, utilize my fucking brain here. Which is something that I don't do too often. Alright, please work. It might have worked, but I'm on fire now. I'm on fire now. Oh god, don't pl Oh, the whole place is on fire! <gasps> you know what it was? That thing said that there was a smell of gasoline in the air. That's what it was. No, don't die. <laughs> okay. That's probably what it was then. That's the reason why it was kind of like, Oh, it's a big smell of gasoline in here. God, I'm so close to death. That's fucking <laughs> shit. I'm super metal to say I light myself on fire too. Okay. So, here's the problem. I can now make it in there, but whatever monster he was talking about is going to come out here and just wreck my shit, right? It's just a dog. Alrighty, wait a minute. That dog could kill me in one hit, though, so... Oh, thank God. It was just like a regular dog, not a super wrapped up one. What's in here? Please let it be good. Oh god, flashlight! <laughs> Holy shit, that's good. Nails? Flares? Blueprint, huh? This doesn't look like much of a blueprint, my friends. It looks like a musings of a madman. Okay. What does that have a recipe for a pellet gun? That sounds really good. Now, what can we leave behind for that? Well, I'm gonna obviously say that four wood. Or this recipe trumps the four wood. Okay, so we got that. I'm feeling good about that. I'm glad that I decided to not use my my axe completely on that endeavor. Note to self, though, next time you have to do this, throw the Molotov and just run like hell. Okay. I know that I have to return, but right now I need to tell this man that we've done it. By George, we've done it. Piotrek, let's not fight, my friend, alright? Let's just talk. Oh, I didn't see you come in. The man's... I'm not sure what voice to make for this guy, by the way. The man's eyes are running all over the place. I guess let's just act like he's a tweaker. Uh, yesterday I saw a metal thing. It was laying down on the grass. I don't like grass. It's so slippery and I, I would rather that instead of that grass, there would be some metal thingies. I don't know. It's my tweaker voice. Uh, <laughs> you make do with whatever. You know what it sounds like? It sounds like Falcon's old videos. Because <laughs> I used to commentate really, really fast because I was so nervous I didn't know what to do. So I was just talking like this. I'd be like, oh, I'm going to run this over here and do this thing over here. But um, I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> that was my old videos. <laughs> if you wanted to get a little trip down memory lane, that was really bad stuff. Um, the metal antennas in his hat suddenly started vibrating. Do you? Do you have any metal thingies? Um, pfft. Whoa there, my friend. I just met you. You don't ask me about my metal thingies just yet. Show item. Let's show him about the dog tag. Funny piece of metal. Pietric livens up suddenly. Have you seen any vehicle? I'm, it's ready. Well, almost. I, I need to repair the casing, though. The ones from the spring, which I fell off recently when I hit my head with it and fell off. I thought I was flying, but it was just that lights went off. Okay. Yeah, I'm, you're flying, all right. Postcard with a portrait of a man. Oh, I got one, too. Such a beautiful photograph. All right. Photo of the doctor. Wait, I don't see Garrigan on it. I've never seen a photo without Garrigan on it before. He was that great man who flew to the stars. I'll reach the stars, too, one day. Pietrick stares at a blank spot for a few seconds. Maybe tomorrow, maybe when I screw the floor tomorrow, so I'll cover tomorrow's cover. I added a little bit more sin to that, if you weren't aware. Okay, so not much of anything, however, he's interested in metal thingies, meaning that we could probably sell the junk metal to him and, like, the, the wheel that we found. Does he have anything right now of value for us? Reputation is 50. I could definitely use some rags to heal. What the hell is this, a cable? Huh. Uh, I'm going to sell this off, and I'm going to keep some of the batteries for the flashlight, I would imagine, but I have six flares, huh? 
Oh, wow. Each flare gives you 30. Okay, let's give him a few of those, and I guess we'll take... I think I have a few repair kits back home. Military flashlight. Ooh-wee. Sounds really, really good. Oh, you know, wire would be amazing. That's what I've been talking about for a minute now. So we'll take the wire with us. And, uh, by the way, if you haven't watched The Wire, watch The Wire. Amazing show. Recipe for inventory upgrade. Huh. Yeah, I... Hot bar upgrade. That sounds really good. Okay, here's what we do. Flare, flare. Let's do, um, inventory upgrade. Um, give it to me, my friend. <laughs> Why won't you give that shit to me? Oh, because I don't have the room for it. Ha <laughs> ha, it makes sense, doesn't it? Um, alright. Um, I guess we'll sell off the batteries just because I do have a few back home. So, let's do the recipe for inventory upgrade. As you can see, here's what we can upgrade to. Good to know. Um, and you know what? Take this flare. And give me the hot bar upgrade as well. Now, mind you, I could have done this a little bit more better. I could have probably seen the upgrade or the what I needed for the upgrade before and then do that, but whatever. So how does this work? Learn. Oh. You just hold it. Okay, inventory upgrade. All you need is whatever the fuck that is, and then pellet gun. Oh, and you need junk for the pellet gun and wire. You know what? A low-powered single-shot handgun. That might be too pretty easy to build. Recipe for hot bar upgrade. All I need is whatever those things are. Okay, cool. Well, good to know. That's all I need. Um, let's go back into gossip. I haven't slept today. I was thinking about the metal cover from the tractor. Such a beautiful thing. It fits perfectly. Piotrick saddens up a bit and the antennas in his head bend down a little. Space dust. Space dust is everywhere. <laughs> That's something a fucking tweaker would say now, wouldn't they? Space dust. Space dust is everywhere. Um, that's about it. That's all I can really do at this point in terms of selling. I have 55 left over. Not much to really buy anything. Maybe I could get some rags off of them. That wouldn't be the worst idea, especially if I want to make it back to my home without dying. Ah, uh, it seems like such a waste, though. I don't really want to, but I feel like I should. Especially because I'm holding a mushroom. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to play it ballsy. Let me see if I can just make it back home from here. It's gonna take like one big giant fell swoop. And I don't see it happening. Maybe I should just wait for. Maybe I should just wait for daylight here. I mean. That might not be the worst idea. Can I wait other than. Oh no, you know why? Because of the thirst. I have to clear the thirst. So I basically can't. Yeah, I, I need to go now then. Oh! <gasps> Dogman. I guess I could just die instantly, too. That would be kind of shitty. Okay. Let me look at my map here. I need to go northeast from here. Let's see if we can make this happen. I, I have my doubts. I think I'm going to die. I would like not to die. <laughs> I'll, I'll admit that right now. I would love to not die, but... We'll see. I do have a flashlight. If things get a little bit too crazy, I can always turn that on just to kind of give myself an idea as to where I'm going. Stamina is completely gone. Okay, I do remember seeing this last time, right? I saw this and then my home was... where was it from this location? North, excellent. Alrighty, so... Let me just get something to drink, and we can try to get the fuck back in here and board up our house and call it a night. Hmm, there's still nothing in there, huh? Interesting. Do I have enough to board the door today? I do. I definitely do. Okay. So we just gotta wait for the thirst to kind of come over us for a second. I guess it'll let me know when it's ready. For now, what I could do is make sure that this is barricaded still, which it is. Oh, here's the thirst now. So let's just go back in here. Take care of that. Got another odd mushroom. Up, 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 up. I guess you could always get odd mushrooms. You always get an odd mushroom for that, so... I guess losing mushrooms isn't the worst case scenario. It's just basically losing the skill and having to restart start it all over again. So what I will do is to basically call it a safe night. Let's barricade this entrance. I could barricade this and just stay in here. But... 
I don't want to use the extra nails for that. So I'm just going to hang out here and press myself up against the ward rope. And what I'm going to do, guys, is actually put some of this away. I can make the lockpick from this, which I probably will. Let's put the mushrooms away. Junk is going to be for homeboy. Creepy noises. Just trying to make sure I have nothing of importance on me. I don't seem to. Let me quickly make this lock pick. Hmm. I almost feel like repairing this doorway. Let me do this now. What does this do? Does it just make it like a regular door? It does. Okay. Huh. So, if I hang out here, I should have probably dragged the, um, what is it I'm looking, the wardrobe over to this room and then put the wardrobe where I'm standing right now, now that I have the doorway here. So, now that I fixed this, I could barricade it and be completely safe for the night. You know, I probably will. I'm gonna do this because now... This is barricaded, and so is the main entrance. Something's in here. So I'm not entirely sure. That looks to be like in complete health. I'm not sure if uh, that one's being attacked or this one over here. Okay. <laughs> this is so fucking stressful. I'm gonna go and hang out over here. I think it's that one is being attacked. So I think if I'm here at least hanging out, if this piece of shit does break through that door, he'll come in through here and then we can just kind of like axe him in the head. So I'm gonna hang out right here. If, he, if this door opens, we know it's him, and we can just kind of like axe him from the side, kind of like a sabotage. And at the same time, we're keeping an eye on this door just in case that one gets broken down. Now, I don't expect it to break down, but again, we have to survive this night. So I usually cut off the nights, but this one seems a little bit more stressful because there is something inside for sure. So that's something that you guys might want to be interested in watching in. So we'll leave it in here for now. I'm gonna get a bit of coffee. Meanwhile, this happens though. You just kind of observe the uh, atmospheric noises. I'm hearing nothing, which is a good thing. Never mind. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Come on, man. Work with me here. God damn it. Daytime, can you please come? Daytime just lags it for so long. <laughs> come on, man. I'm glad that we've um, covered quite a few good things on the map, though, so that is an upside. I'm thinking probably next day we check out South and Southeast and Southwest, things of that nature. Alrighty, and there is day seven. So let's find out what happened here. That monster might still be about. I guess we'll find out here. Let me dismantle this. Yeah, you can see my, my wardrobe has been moved a bit. Yeah, that's where he got in through. So that's good. I mean, I'm happy about that. So let's call it an episode here today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I encourage you to leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support really does mean a lot. Let me know in the comments how I'm doing, and if you have any tips to let me know where I should be heading to or what I should be focusing on, please let me know. I'll catch you guys next time.